Hello everybody and welcome back to the fourth episode of the Limbus Company tier list video. Now we are moving on to Ryoshu. Ryoshu base Ryoshu is a pretty interesting case. She wants to be a poise identity without tongue. And because of that, as she's there. Right, but if you can build poise on her using an external source like BL Yisang's uh, passive or BL Don on field, then you might be able to see a crit or two who's here and there. Now, Seven Ryoshu is a pretty interesting case. Now, you don't have to use her in a rupture team because her rupture count does not exist at all. But she is a pretty good slash debuffer, so if your team is primarily built with slash in mind, then she might be a good addition. But generally, she doesn't do that much damage herself. And funnily enough, she is not even a mono, mono slash uh, unit because her slash name skill is a blunt skill. So because of that, it's usually better to just run a damage option over her. So she goes below blade lineage. I almost call seven Yisang blade lineage. Uh, seven Yisang because she's basically obsolete. <laughs> now we have gun Ryoshu, shotgun Ryoshu. Um, she is not worth it at all. Her payoff is like a worse pirate Gregor. Uh, skill 3 because you build all this poise up and then you, you shoot your bullet and then oh oh wow her only purpose is to buff other gun related IDs aka 7 uh, no, magic bullet Otis <laughs> uh, because of that she goes below uh, 7 Ryoshu because at least with 7 Ryoshu you might want to debuff the enemy to get more damage uh she is not uh, mm, actually i mean like, at least she does decent damage i guess right actually yeah let, let's move her there but at least she does some damage and she can actually build poise count and potency unlike unlike lc be Ryoshu. Now, Liu Ryoshu is a good burn unit. Her only problem is that she lacks count, but that can be supplemented with other uh, burn IDs, such as Don Clear or the Leo IDs. But because of her lacking count herself, Actually, lacking count isn't that big of a deal because uh, you don't really need that, a lot of count to maintain uh, Burn and Don Claire and Liu uh, Hong Lu exist, so count isn't really a problem in Burn at all. So, because of count generation really not being a problem and can be easily supplemented with other IDs, I'd say she goes. Below, below, um, actually, nah, she goes at low A. Hold on, let me move them. She, yeah, low A, she has good clashing. Honestly, these two should go hand in hand together, I think. They are nice to have, but not needed, except for uh, Liu Ryoshi. You literally have no other good burn option at all. So, uh, burn two star option at all so my might as well just use her like these two are nice to have uh, because her because <laughs> no good option um but yeah and then sync dawn is just there <laughs> but anyways uh now you're the v ryoshu i'd say it's a a tier, they're like right beside uh, Muller uh, Yusang because of the value that her two passives can give and the value that her skill three can give. 
Actually, I, I should go... I, I, <laughs> yeah, go over there. So her skill 2 can actually help with count maintaining. Uh, I don't know. 5 count, right? So she can help maintain count, much like um, Moller Yisang, but she gets more opp uh, opportunity to burst the enemy with uh, her skill 1 proccing a tremor burst if her passive NO gets proc. Uh, her skill 3 having tremor burst on it and her skill 2 just giving more tremor to the enemy. <laughs> to help maintain tremor count. But I think her most useful utility in a tremor team would be her uh, bench passive, which is universally good for self tremor units because it gives one extra count to them. So it helps build their tremor count, self tremor count needs for their skill conditionals. So that's a good thing and something that is unique to her. So I feel like she should go pretty high because of that. Now, Kurokumo Ryoshu is a an ID of all time. She is a bleed ID that I believe do not does not inflict bleed count. <laughs> um or barely any, because I don't remember her having actually any bleed count. But she does inflict debuffs unique to her and Kurukumo Gregor for this ID. The uh, Ring Risang. And she goes faster than him. And because it's same turn. Oh wait, no, she goes slower. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I, I just remember she's slower than Ring Sang. Okay. Um yeah, her debuffs are same term, which is a problem if you want to proc Ring Yi Sang. I thought uh Kurukumo Ryoshi was faster than him. Um uh, now because of that re revelation, I think she goes um uh uh below gun Ryoshi <laughs> because Gun Ryoshi does damage. She does not do damage. She has like low coin amounts. So there's a problem with damage in that department. But her debuffs are same turn and she's slow. So the debuffs aren't going to be debuffing a whole lot. Now, moving on to a actually good Ryoshi. I <laughs> know I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, forget about that. I I completely forgot where I put uh Yuri Devi and uh Liu. But her chef ID is pretty good. Uh it sadly got power crap by the next ID, but having a skill three nuke is pretty good. Um having attack down and paralyze is also good. But <laughs> Anti-heal is kind of whatever as a debuff, but you're not really playing her for the anti-heal at all. She also has good sustain, which is uh valuable. So I think she goes above uh Butterfoss because her skill three is a good nuke, her skill tune one uh perfectly uh Fits well in her kit and what she wants to do as a ID. Now, <sighs> W, W, Ryoshu. It's a W Corp ID that is not a Mersault ID. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. In all honesty, W Ryoshu's only problem is that she can't really clash with her skill 1. Because it only rolls a 9. 
without taking taking into account uh offense levels and uh all that like offense level ups and shenanigans and di uh, power differences but ddr is very funny it does more damage than rip space if i remember correctly so it goes like that <laughs> it's really funny <laughs> Charge IDs are really dumb and broken. Oh yeah, and she also gets slash fragility on her skill too. But this time, it's almost useful because she goes decently fast with, the, with her passive giving her haste. If you are able to proc it. So, yeah. I don't know why what's up with Project Moon and giving W Corp IDs useless like almost useless effects on their skill twos because like they're usually going last because of how slow they are but these what it is I mean their skill threes are pretty funny so we'll forgive them for that now we have made <laughs> Ryoshu, which is a pretty fun unit to solo with, right? Uh, you can pretend to be Sakia in Limbus Company and keep chucking knives with two attack weight on them. The only problem is that if you use her as a like a regularly use her as like a regular id then in a uh what do they call it now like a human fight unfocused encounter and then you can't really choose to target uh enemies with bm butler smart so you can't really proc those effects consistently but if you're in a focus encounter then you are you would be able to do that but her damage is not really that good because again she has a 2 to 2 coin spread but her clashing is really good if you are able to uh get enough haste from her passive to uh outspeed the enemies consistently and uh, she has many Miongas in Clashing, basically. <laughs> but yeah. Um, oh, wait, well, not Miongas. A, just a Mio's Prowess. A mini Mio's Prowess. So because of that, uh, she goes above, above, uh, uh, Middle Dawn. Middle Dawn. And below Butler Foss. Because honestly, Butler Foss has a lot of utility with just Echoes of the Manor. She's hard to beat. But yeah. Uh, that is it for Ryoshu's IDs. I think, uh, I think it's really funny that B, uh, Butler Faust is gatekeeping a lot of these units. Actually, yeah, gatekeeping a lot of these units because of her utility with Echoes. But, yeah... I think I'm happy with the placement of Ryoshu IDs. Actually, fuck it. Place her, place her beside uh, Chef Ryoshu. Uh, they have the same knife. It, it'll, it'll match well. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for Ryoshu's IDs. Um, if we get a better burn ID, honestly, I think she'd stay here. Because um, our burn IDs are just bad. <laughs> because... Just, they're just horrible. Like, there's no other option. Just Ryoshi's go. <laughs> Ryoshi's IDs are like kind of hit or miss, right? But she has some good, decent IDs. Um, we don't talk about warp. Warp is dumb. Anyways, that's it for Ryoshi. Next up, we'll have Marcel. And before that, I will see you there. Oh, what does that even mean? Anyways, the the video continues with Mersault next time. Okay, bye!